Taurus, we'll talk, we'll continue reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Crescent, and Venus. Let's have a look at what is the past, present, and future of your connection with the person you're dealing with or you have in mind. I tried cutting cords with you, but it didn't happen. I want to give you something. The illusion is breaking. I hear songs in my head about what you want to convey. Our vibrations are different, so we can't meet for now. I feel envious of everyone who is close to you. I want to be by your side too. And there are too many obstacles right now. Bottom of the deck, you are the first thing I think of when I wake up and the last thing when I sleep. All right, the person has made themselves pretty clear that there are obstacles even though they want to be with you. Okay. Um, the overall energy, I do see Taurus for you. There is someone here who wants to try and work things out with you again. There is a potential of a brand new beginning between you both here, a clean slate, and I definitely see someone here who's now wanting to cooperate, wanting to uh, put in the teamwork, you know, wanting to collaborate with you and work things out with you. Yeah, but definitely potential here of trying to work things out with you again and trying to start a clean slate with you. Okay, starting from scratch. They really, really want to put in their work. Let's see. Try for the Eight of Pentacles. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we have three cards. Okay, so now this person here realizes that realizes all of a sudden that you are their happiness. This person definitely wants long term with you. They want long term commitment. They want marriage. Say whatever you want, and they want it, and they're ready to move things forward. Okay, there is a huge transition that this person is going through, and they want to come towards you and make it happen. Okay, so this time around here, they want to put in the effort. Now, in the past, we have the lovers, the seven of swords, and the queen of swords. What I'm getting here is that there was a relationship in the past, even if this wasn't a relationship, it was a very, very strong connection here. Okay, almost like a twin flame connection. But someone here was very deceptive in and out of your life. Running away from commitment, running away from responsibilities, okay? Uh, someone you, you probably had trust issues with and you just had to walk away from this person, okay? You cut them out. Typhi, um, the seven of swords. Yeah, so the person you were dealing with here, uh, this person here, you were very stuck on this person, okay? This person made you feel very stuck very restricted okay almost like you were in your head and uh, you felt like you can never get rid of this connection out here but this is someone here who is very inconsistent in your life okay very in and out very on and off here and what you wanted from this person here like i said was long-term commitment and that's something that they won't be able to offer you okay because they kept being like a coward and trying to run away from it okay um In the current situation, we have the Judgment, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So there is something that's coming to an end out here, but there could be a rebirth of a connection. There is a potential here of a reconciliation here, okay? Someone from their past wants to come back towards you. Let's see. What's the Judgment? There are a lot of realizations coming in, huge awakenings that you or your person have. What's the Judgment? So I do feel here that there is uh, someone out here who really uh, wants to have a relationship with you. The connection still remains in the past and still now it still remains out here. Um, but it's like you're uh, coming to a realization that you need to cut this person off because this person out here could be someone here, like I said, uh, very on and off. Okay, So because of your past uh because of your history with this person out here, I feel your daily, uh, there could be a fire sign, okay, who uh, you have a lot of realizations about and there's an awakening that even though the connection is too strong out here, it probably is just not going to work out, okay. What's the Ten of Swords? Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of 
Well, with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, I feel here that there is a lot of delay, okay, before this person comes back towards you and reconciles with you. So there is a reconciliation here right now, okay, a potential here, but the problem here is that someone here makes you wait and there, your patience is being tested. Taurus, your patience is being tested. How badly do you want this reconciliation with this person, okay? And I feel that you're losing patience, okay? And you're just choosing to end this situation here and probably just give it your own closure out here and just moving forward, okay? But honestly, if you really want this reconciliation here, the universe is asking you to wait, okay? Because that's just how life is, right? You won't get everything that you want at your time. It's going to come at divine timing. So for right now, it looks like you want to move on and you are moving on. Now in the future, we have the two of pentacles, the high priestess and the magician. So there is some kind of manifestation that you're doing. Okay, you're trying to manifest something in the future out here. Uh, let's see. There's some kind of decision that needs to be made out here. What's the two? Can I put the two of pentacles? So in the future here, you are going to receive a lot of communication, okay, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the communication is going to be out of nowhere, unexpected, okay. It's going to come in quick and the communication is going to lead to a lot of happiness to you, okay. But however, you're going to have to make a decision which is going to be very, very logical and there are chances you may want to make a very head over heart decision, okay. Which is why you're going to be in two minds. Do you want to entertain the ex or do you just want to move on? Because right now, I see already see you moving on because you're waiting for this reconciliation to happen. You are missing someone out here who you've had best memories with. There is a strong soulmate connection out here, but it's just not happening, right? And that's the leading you... To, that's leading to a lot of realizations okay like maybe i gave this a lot of chances maybe i was not making that action making maybe i wasn't making that choice to move ahead maybe this is something that's just not the best for me okay not in my best self-interest etc uh what's the magician So in the future here, I do see you as, uh, you know, you're trying to manifest a new opportunity, okay? You're trying to manifest, um, and disconnect from this person, okay? You're trying to move on, but it's like, you know what, you're in two minds. Do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? Okay. You're still in two minds, which is why again, the two of pentacles here, you are trying your best to manifest it. But the problem here is that, you know, you're not being able to do it because, uh, it, it, there's a lot of self doubt coming from you. Okay. I feel you're putting in a hundred percent to disconnect from this connection and move forward out here. And I, I do see that determination. Okay. Of wanting to make it happen. But, um, I feel that lack energy in the future out here. Like, will this even work out or not? Okay. Um, so I want to clarify. Let me clarify the high priestess. You're going to have to trust your intuition in the future. What's the high priestess? Maybe there's something that you know. Maybe you know that this person's coming back. What's the high priestess? See? that's what i said there is your intuition is on point okay you already know that this person's gonna come back and apologize you already know that this person wants a reconciliation out here but the problem here is that you know this is someone who's very toxic because of your history with this person here you know things ended badly you know that things didn't work out okay and you know that this person here uh, is not the best at cooperation not the best at teamwork maybe this person here is just attracted to you and they don't really want anything more stable with you you know so a lot of issues out here so it's like you know that this person has toxic traits out here all right so you're going to try your best to trust your intuition trust your gut and make a choice out here is what i'm getting okay but in the future here there is going to be an apology coming in this person will want to uh, have a reconciliation with you but you're going to be in two minds in the future do i want this or not 
I feel in the future here you are trying to manifest a whole new life on your own. Okay, you're trying to create your own reality, which is disconnecting from this person. Okay, and just moving forward because you feel that is the positive direction. You know, and I feel you're going to be quite determined to do it because, like I said, your intuition is telling you that this is someone toxic, and they probably will repeat their negative patterns, and that's something that you don't want to entertain. So Taurus, it is coming in for you, okay? And your intuition is on point. They are coming back. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.